Kaiser Chiefs 3, Cape Town Spurs 2. But we all know there is more to football than just the final score. Especially since we are playing against Orlando Pirates this weekend. So let's look at what Chiefs did really well and what they didn't do so well. Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Pelo, I am your host and this, this is Offense Meet and talk about Kaiser Chiefs. I'm a football club. Starting with the starting 11, Kevin Johnson was really, really brave today because he gone out, he went out, and he decided that, you know what, I am going to substitute Brendan Peterson. And he did not just put him on the bench, but no, he didn't even include him in the match day squad. That's a huge statement, obviously, unless he's saving him from, for Saturday, which would be weird because think about it. If Peterson was to come back on Saturday and make a mistake, people would say, why did Peterson come back? Because we played on, or during the week and then we won. And then when he comes back, we lose. But I, I would say this. Today's game, we also didn't do the things that we usually do when Peterson is there. We're not playing needless passes at the back to the keeper. And this is not to say Kune did better than Peterson because I will still kind of blame him for the first goal because he didn't decide whether to come out or to stay in his goal. Because if you look at him, Simang, he's kind of telling Kune to stay in goal and not come out because he was still going to try and tackle the guy. But when Kune came closer, then Simang couldn't make a tackle and then it was easier for the guy to actually score the goal. So still, even today, we still had a mistake by a goalkeeper that could have been prevented. I know people will disagree with me, so by all means, disagree with me in my comments. But I will still say it's a good change. It's a good change that we changed the keeper and we won the game. It's not down to just the keeper, but it was a good change. And then the other change that I was happy about, too, actually, when it comes to our centre-backs, it was Uti Klokwe and Umsimango. Obviously, Njabulo Ngobo has not done anything bad. It's just the fact that if you look at it, the situation is Jabulo Ngobo is not better as a defender compared to Msimang. Msimang will give you much more. Aerially, he's better and also just on the ball. He's just as comfortable as Ngobo, just not as casual as Ngobo because sometimes he gets too casual and he can make those mistakes. And then if he does that against Pirates, then that could be costly and he would go back to square, square one. And I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing that is, is benched because he can always come back. A uh, squad rotation is very important. Left back also, we did not see Shanti. We did see Udove, who is a player that I'm happy when he's always there because he will always give everything for the team. And in our midfield, Mteto wasn't available, so the coach did manage to just play much as a six, Castillo in front of him, and also Unkosing Pilengob. Unkosing Pilengob, just a bit on him and how he performed in today's game is the fact that, yes, he had a solid game. No, 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 no worries about that. I think what we should talk about with regards to Nkosi Pilengobo is his work rate, right? Because he's a very good player. No questioning that. He is the very good player. Personally, I think he's our best number 10. That's just me. I think Nkosi Pilengobo is our best number 10. The problem is that his work rate for him to stay at the highest level, he needs to work really hard. You have creative players like Abo, Kevin De Bruyne, who still work really hard. He's a very creative player, the best in the world, but he still works, right? But when you look at Ngosin Pilengobo, sometimes he's lazy, sometimes he gets too casual, and that kind of gets and eats into his game, and you see this very brilliant player who then makes some things that look just casual, and you're like, come on, boy, you can do better. We know you are better than this, so... That's just those minor tweaks that he needs to fix. Another thing that we need to fix is the people who are not following, the people who are not subscribed. Please do make sure to like the video, subscribe, follow if you haven't. Thank you so much. That helps me to grow. Right. And when we talked about our front three, we had Tumshini, not Tumshini, we had Shabalala, we had Tutoli, and then we also had Uranga. Ranga played a good game. He even scored a goal. Problem is, after scoring a goal, you would expect that a player will then be relaxed and start playing and passing the ball. Problem is, with Uranga now, after scoring, he thinks, I should score everything. Now he's taking shots that are unnecessary and is not even accurate in taking those shots. That's just ridiculous. And we should address this thing. Our players do this thing of being selfish and trying to take shots, even though it's clear that they shouldn't be taking those shots. They shouldn't be doing that. That is costing the team big time. So, Ranga, 
stop it. Stop it. You've scored your goal. Hopefully, you score more goals. Don't be selfish after scoring. It doesn't look good on you. It doesn't look good on anyone for that matter. Dolly, another solid game. Here's my problem with Dolly. Ne? One is the fact that you are playing him out of position already. People, with this, I disagree with some people who say he's better as a winger than an attacking midfielder. I genuinely think he's better as an attacking midfielder. He's also a creative player. I've even said, me and I would even change the system and play Amatena too, like uh, like a, a 4 4 2 in a sense. Or play him as a 10 and then play someone else as a 8 machine and then they can just rotate around. Create more creativity in midfield because if he's wide, you are requiring sp speed from him. He doesn't have, he gained weight too. And secondly, is the fact that when they play with Dolly, they don't see the reason to sub him. They just want him to play for 80, 90 minutes, even in games where he's tired and he's not offering anything to the team. Not because he's bad. Don't hear me wrong. Dolly is a good player. But if you're expecting him to play 90 minutes in the derby again, you can't be playing him 90 minutes against T, uh, Cape Town Spurs. Take him out early because you remember when he made those first three subs, he was just supposed to take out Dolly, take out Ndu, take out Nkosing uh, Pilenop. Take all of those three players out. And then see, in fact, me and a personal, I would have left him to for a while and then taken out to Dolly, Nkosing Pile because they were clearly tired. And Uranga, if you're also expecting him to play on Saturday, on Saturday, take him out early as well and then give other guys a chance because Uranga was finished around the 60th, 65th minute because he was already just doing those desperate touches. And we're talking on the stream um, that who coach, yes, he did make changes and he saw that they did not make a difference. Umo Dino, when he brought on Umo Dino, Sam Gelo. Well, yeah, it was, it was Modi and who that he brought on first. It was Modi and Mtanzane. They did not change the game at all. It was like they were not there. But when he brought them on and then he saw that it wasn't working, six minutes later he's making another sub. Players were stripped and ready to come in. I'm like, it looks like we find a find a Pelalo. If you are a coach and you are sure, watch about Pep Guardiola, about Klopp and all of those coaches. If they are making changes, they are sure that the players who are going in, they are going to make a change. But Tina, we bring in players who are still playing find a find. And eventually when you bring in Osaele on the 70th minute, Ben Osamgelo also didn't make a difference. Osamgelo. Uh, Osaele did make a difference, ended up scoring the goal. And you always know there's going to be energy when Osaele comes in. So with our changes, we did make them earlier this game but they were still questionable because you're like, what were we actually trying to achieve with these changes? So we might want to look at that because sometimes some games are won with our changes. In this case, it was, but it was the change that we made later on. And with regards to obviously how the team played overall, now we're looking at the overall thing. I think there are two things that I, I, I want to say. The first one is the fact that our team is casual, right? We scored, the, we scored the first goal, scored the second goal, and then we relax. That's not good. Because the game, we needed to win the game, today's game, not because it's three points, not because it's a derby during the weekend, but it's also to send a message to everyone that Kaiser Chiefs can still hit five goals, can still hit six, seven, however many goals that you could have scored. Because Cape Town City, Cape Town Spurs are bad. They are bad. They leave so many spaces between themselves. Even the goals that we score, you see that even the goal, the first goal that we scored, Jay, look at the first goal. That cross, no one is pressing Matt. No one is marking Castillo in the box. That team is bad. We could have scored a lot of goals, but we didn't. And if you can't make statement wins against smaller teams like this, then other teams still think, huh, there's always a chance to come back against Chiefs, which was the case. They almost came back. If Sile hadn't scored that goal, then the game would have ended as a draw. So we need to have these games where we're just winning and destroying fools so that no one disrespects us. You get me? The number two thing that I want us to talk about, have I asked you to subscribe? Yeah, I'm asking you again. Like the video. The second thing is that, that thing, your good tea. Fitness is a problem. And I, 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 I want to make another video. I have made a video about this before. But there's a difference between a fitness coach and a conditioning coach. With Umalulega, the one that we, that we have right now, he's a fitness coach. Some people call him a body builder, but I'm just going to say he's a fitness coach. You can make players fit in general. You can make anyone fit. 
But there is a certain style that Kaiser Chiefs wants to play with, and you need to be conditioned by a conditioning coach to play in that way. Chiefs doesn't have that. They need to find someone who's going to be a conditioning coach. A lot of teams have both the fitness and the conditioning coach, and then teams that are trying to save cost, they will have a conditioning coach who obviously can also make the players fit. So we need to fix that fitness thing because some of the things at the weekend, Pirates scored last night, the game on the 79th minute. So if you lose focus and you get tired later on in the games, that's how we lost against Pirates. Um, Tetua, we're Pirates scoring late in the extra time because we're already tired. Fitness, conditioning, it's those things. What did you think of the game? Let me know down on the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, remember, equals Alpelumoy.